Hello students, this is your first chapter of history for class 7. The name of the chapter is The Turkish Invasion and the Establishment of the Delhi Sultanate. The Abbasid Caliphates declined by the end of the 9th century. It broke into a number of independent states which were ruled by the Turks who had earlier served in the armies of the Caliphs. Two important states established by them were Ghazni and Khor. Now let us discuss about Mahmud of Ghazni. Sultan Mahmud of Ghazni was a powerful and ambitious ruler. He wanted to build a large and well-equipped army to expand his kingdom and also to protect it from enemies in Central Asia. So he needed money and the riches of the temples of North India attracted him. He invaded India 17 times in the course of 25 years. At that time, North India was divided and there was no unity. The Rajputs were engaged in fighting among themselves. They did not understand the seriousness of the situation. Mahmud of Ghazni took advantage of the situation attacked India and plundered its wealth. Now, important raids of Mahmud of Ghazni. First was war against Jaipal. Mahmud first defeated Jaipal, who was the ruler of Punjab and his kingdom extended from Punjab to Afghanistan. He was forced to pay tribute, that is a huge payment. Now, unable to bear the humiliation, that is, insult, he burnt himself to death. The second was war against Anandapal. Jaipal's son, Anandapal, succeeded him. He formed an alliance that is united with the rulers of some important states of Western and Central India. They made arrangements to repulse Ghazni that is to fight him and protect themselves. The threat of a foreign invasion inspired the people to defend their land. Even the women sold their jewels, melted their gold, ornaments and sent the money to help in the war arrangements. But Anandapal and his alliance were defeated, which opened the way for future penetration into the heart of India. Later, Mahmud's attacks targeted the temple towns of North India. A temple town was not only a religious center but also a treasure house. Mahmud attacked, plundered and destroyed hundreds of temples in Nagakot, Kangra, Thaneshwar, Mathura and Kannauj. The attack on the Somnath temple was Mahmud's most profitable expedition. The India's Indians tried their best to save the magnificent temple which was the richest and the most sacred temple of the Hindus. But after three days of severe fighting, the entire defense force of 50,000 soldiers were killed. Mahmud returned to his capital with huge treasure including valuable works of art. As you can see in the map, the area marked in green was the extent of the empire of Mahmud and the area marked in pink was the area invaded by Mahmud. Mahmud was a gifted soldier. He did not want to establish an Indian empire. He was interested in expanding his empire in Central Asia. Punjab was the only province he annexed in India. Mahmud took away vast treasure from India and used them to transform Ghazni into a magnificent capital city. Ghazni was decorated with beautiful mosques, libraries 
and museum. His court glittered with sparkling pearls, rubies and diamonds which he looted from India. Mahmud was known as the idol breaker because he destroyed the temples and a bandit because he looted and took away the treasures. However, he was patron of art and learning. He also enjoyed the company of scholars and poets. The Persian poet Firdausi, author of the great epic Shahanama and Al-Baruni, the great Persian historian and mathematician, were among the eminent scholars patronized by Mahmud. Mahmud's invasions exposed the weaknesses of the northern states and paved the way for the conquest of India. After Mahmud's death, the empire of Ghazni broke into parts. For the next 150 years, North India was free from foreign invasions. When, Mahmud Ghori, when Muhammad Ghori invaded India at the end of the 12th century, there were five major Rajput kingdoms in North India. The Rathors of Kannauj, the Chauhans of Delhi and Ajmer, the Solankis of Gujarat, the Paramaras of Malwa and the Chandelas of Bundelkhand. We will discuss about Muhammad Gauri in the next video. Now this is your worksheet. You have to write the answers in any notebook or copy you have at home. You have to submit your work when the school reopens. Thank you.